All right, what is up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today we're going to be talking about a project that is in such early stages that it almost isn't worth talking about, except for the fact that it absolutely is. Welcome to somebody remaking Stalker in Unreal Engine 4, and they have been getting really, really far. Now, as far as I am aware, this is also a free project, or it is going to be a free project. In fact, from what I've seen, not only is it going to be a free project, but he is actually planning on open sourcing this project when it is completed. So that's just like an extra, extra level of, of free. And what he's already got completed is... Uh, is really impressive. Now, it is obviously still in a very early state of development, but it is in a much further along state than most other Stalker remakes that I've seen before. And it's also another entry in the emerging library of entirely free projects built using Unreal Engine 4. Now, he has all sorts of stuff that's already been done. His recent updates are showing off some of the new maps that he's been created, uh, that he has been creating, that also feature fully drivable vehicles. So, uh, you can go into these, these beautiful maps, and you can even drive the APCs, you can drive the UAVs. I mean, this almost kind of looks like the original Stalker prototypes, which came out a while ago. And you can also, I mean, uh, I, I believe he showcases it here, you can also fire the gun of the APC, you can actually um, enter and exit at will. In fact, there's uh, a couple of other vehicles that he has created. And, yeah, it's, uh, man, this is this is pretty impressive. So here are some of the screenshots that he actually just released on his ModDB page as well. If you want to go check this out on ModDB, it's called Stalker SOC Remake. I mean, that's just the name that it has right now, and it's in Unreal Engine 4, and man, it's really starting to come together. Some of the test scenes that he's shown don't look nearly as good. But uh, some of the recent environment art and some of the recent levels that he's been releasing look, look really phenomenal. He's already got a full loading screen ready to go. I mean, I'm assuming there is a build of this out there somewhere. Uh, and he's also saying that this will support cooperative game modes and multiplayer game modes. So this is something that I really think you need to start getting used to. Uh, I know that in our project, Operation Harsh Doorstop, we're actually doing a play test today at 4 p.m. on Friday, so make sure you stick around for that. We're going to be giving away free keys to that game. Uh, our game that we're making is also a free game built in Unreal Engine 4. And I, I remember people used to think that this was kind of like a rare thing. I think you're going to start seeing a lot more of this. Uh, there's all of these modding teams. I mean, these are teams that are modding all of these different games. And I've said this before, and I remember people kind of like pish posh me. But I'll say it again. Um, it is getting to the point where creating a modification is actually harder than creating a game in Unreal Engine 4. Some of the drivable vehicle prototypes that he's shown off in the third-person animations, I mean, it looks pretty good for an early prototype. And again, keep in mind, I, I think there's a lot of people that get kind of frustrated. They see scenes like this, and they're like, oh, man, this game looks like poop. I really have to say, I don't think you understand how game development works. Um, because a scene like this, I mean, when you, when you look at this and you can see, oh, yeah, it doesn't look that great, this is in the exact same project as this. You know, so like keep that in mind. Just because something looks like this in a test environment does not mean it cannot look like this. It just means that all of these plants and all of these little objects haven't been placed down by somebody yet, which takes time, you know, and your test environments aren't usually going to be as detailed. I see a lot of people get kind of weird about that, especially for something like, um, you know, for instance, our game, Operation Harsh Doorstop. People are like, oh, this doesn't look as, as good as other games. It's like, no, it's a test environment. You need, you need to understand just because it looks like this 
this. It's it's very a, it's a temporary thing. And from what he looks like, he is working on and what he's achieved so far. I don't know, man. This looks like this looks like this project could really go somewhere. Uh, and there's a lot of these, so I'm going to be covering a lot of this now. As you guys have seen, he also has AI in the game. So this is kind of this is kind of like a low resolution video that he put out. But this is, you can see he's got um, all sorts of little zombies and stuff like that, just like in the original game. But in addition to that, he also has normal AI. So here here is a mass test of all of the normal. And as you can see, I mean, this is running an Unreal Engine 4. Um, this is a mass test of like traditional uh, scavenger stalker AI. <laughs> So this is probably what's the most impressive. Like, he's got all of these different elements here. He's got the AI. He's got, you know, he's got the visuals and the levels. You know, I mean, look at this. I mean, you can see the bunkers in here. I mean, I can't wait to see more of this, but this looks absolutely incredible. He's even got uh, the inventory uh, systems. Like, so for instance, here, you can come here. He's got these objects that you can pick up. So there you go. You can pick up that weapon, and then you can pick up the ammo for it. Like, he, he is really far along. Um, and even though there's a couple of these test scenes that that don't look as good, keep in mind. I mean, uh, dude, th this project is uh, this is gonna blow up. So I mean, if you haven't been watching this, definitely go watch it. It's called Stalker SOC Remake. Oh, here's the footage of the APC. Look at that. So this is really cool. This is something you should keep your eye on. Here's actually some in-game footage of, of kind of some of those other screens. I think this is an earlier version of it, though. Look at this, man. Look at this. That's absolutely incredible. So, yeah, I mean, if you have not seen this yet, go check it out. Stalker on Unreal Engine 4, SOC, Stalker uh, of uh, something, what, what is it, SOC, I can't remember, Chernobyl, Chernobyl, of Chernobyl, something, I, I, I have not looked into Stalker for so long other than the mods, I, I've actually forgotten some of the names, I feel terrible, but yeah, this project could be something special, definitely go give it a look-see, I think this could go somewhere, and f look, free Unreal Engine 4 projects, there's so many of them, more than I can count. We're making some, other people are making some. I'm gonna tell you right now, what people used to think was impossible for a small indie team to do for free, it, 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 you're going to start seeing here very soon that things are really gonna start shifting um, sh fast, very fast. So if you wanna keep track of all that stuff, cause I mean, you guys know I am on the front line of, of that of that scene. Uh, so if you guys wanna stick around and keep track of all those cool things, as well as keep track of some of the games that we're gonna be putting out there, make sure you press that sub button and I'll see you in the next video. All right, or actually I'll see you at four. I will see you today at four, show up to the live stream, make sure you enable notifications when you subscribe or you won't see the live stream. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys again soon. All right, cheers. Oh, and Creative Cloud has five app updates available. Thank you, Creative Cloud.